I believe this is our last foray into the world of Half-Life 2. I don't think, uh, unless I play Deathmatch at any point. <laughs> this is, to those of you who don't know, this game was released, uh, I think pretty shortly after Half-Life 2, the main game, but before any of the episodes came out. It's basically, from what I recall, I played this once, like, ages ago, and it was like, a 15 minute long experience. And I remember walking into one, like, church room and being like, ooh, pretty lighting. And that was about it. There's a funny, like, fisherman guy. Remember when Valve released an update to some of their games where the, like, head that has the Valve on it would, like, turn around and look at you a little bit? <laughs> that shit sucked. New game. There's so much bloom on this fucking title screen that, like, the words Half-Life get kind of drowned out. Okay, yeah, commentary on. Hell yeah. And I think there's commentary mode in Half-Life 2. I know I've done it in Portal uh, on my own time. But, uh, in, like, Half-Life 2, in the episodes and shit, to those of you who don't know what this is, it's basically the developers of the game put in little notes. Hi, this is Gabe Newell, <laughs> and welcome to the Lost Coast. In this tour, we're going to be talking about a new graphics technology Whoa. we've been developing called High Dynamic Range. Not expecting to be able to pick this up. First, a quick explanation Say it, Gabe of the commentary and... system. To listen to a commentary node, 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 and have fun. Put your crosshair node, over node, the floating and have commentary fun. symbol node, and press node, your use key. And have fun. To stop the commentary, to stop put the your crosshair ben. over the rotating node. Please, 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 let me know what you think. Again. Come on, I want to nail a fucking bird. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I'm probably wasting my magnum bullets here. I don't even know if there's going to be, like, combat in this game. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. Okay, what is this? There's a commentary note here. The remains of the ship in front of you Robin Walker. part of a puzzle we cut out of the Lost Coast. Is this puzzle actually fun? If not, how much work does right, it birds, need to you're be fun? Alright, birds, you're fucked. Does this puzzle yeah. fit within the purpose of Lost Coast? This With is- Oh, God. Seen here on the left, if something on the screen is 20% oh, reflective, like the wet sand, then the maximum reflective Some of this is gonna is go over my head. It doesn't look that different. HDR uses bloom to simulate light that is beyond 100% of a monitor's maximum brightness. Huh. So it allows you to go even further beyond, basically. And now going forward, mm. we're modeling textures in 3D packages to ensure <laughs> that the physical information encoded in the oh. texture allows HDR to correctly bounce I wanna pulp a bird. Gramfix. Amazing Gramfix. Alright, is it time to actually fucking talk to the fisherman guy? Something like fell from the sky at the very beginning. There was like an intro cutscene and it was like... I think it was just like this plank of wood or something. It's where like a body fell down or something. <laughs> Come on! Get him! Get it! Get it! No! Oh, oh, so sad. You're that scientist chap, a freedman, fishman. <laughs> All right, I'll take you to where they made their base. Can't you like get his harpoon? Can, at any rate. Maybe that was like a Gmod weapon or something, where it was like you used this guy's harpoon as a as a gun. Water presents us with a lot of rendering oh, challenges. Oh shit. I like all these fact, little we have to render the scene windows off to the side. Once for the refraction of huh. what's under the water. And so the reflection is like the upside down world. To simulate particulate matter. It's kind of neat seeing it without HDR the little wavy solution, effect. To... I think... Got the key hmm? right, right here. Oh wait. Yeah boy. There we go. Now I can murder him. Get along now, <laughs> Destroy that gun and no dawdling. He just abandons it. He doesn't even give a shit. So I don't think we ever even go over there. Which, oh shit, I hear combine. Ain't got a chance. Need a gun. This has the, the classic Half-Life 2, like, ambience, though. I do like it. Whoop. Whoop. Naughty Valve leaving in a modeling error. Naughty Valve putting ladders in their games still to this day. Oh, what just happened? Something... Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, that was a good idea. Well, I didn't even hear the grenade. I remember I had a gun in Gmod <laughs> that allowed me to uh, point at a spot. I think it actually used the, the magnum, if I'm recalling correctly. It was just you could point at a spot and a head crab canister would just show up the there. It would entering launch out of the sky. That was a really cool part. Whoa. Vertical space allows us to force the player <laughs> to deal with threats from above Excuse and below. Me? 
We find that players focus their view on the direction <laughs> they're traveling. Are you all right, so by sir? Using a cliffside and having the player. I think this guy is broken. Ensure that the player. What is he looking at? Let's look down his enemies. sights. Maybe this is like a. Uh, this is the Incredibles. It's Chronos. Chronos. Yes, I see. Down from above. Syndrome's password. From it's written out in the branches. The they gave me all the weapons at the beginning. Also, not for nothing, but when I started up the game, I just like booted up to make sure everything worked. I like moved slightly at the beginning, and I think. What it does at the beginning where it gives you all the weapons is it just spawns you in the same, like, coordinate as a bunch of, like, ammo and the HEV suit. But I moved right at the beginning somehow, and so the HEV suit was just sitting there, looking funky as hell, like the entire HEV suit. Like, modeled and all that. Colored. Wow, that was an amazing gunfight. So these effects were in the Half-Life 2 episodes and as well. By the sun, only to have your eye adjust <laughs> and allow you to see normally. Here, oh, you can see the way cool. we calculate the amount of light hitting the player's eyes. Whack. We take a snapshot of the scene, measure the brightness levels, Whack. and then use that to adjust the Whack! Exposure. Valve is full of, like, fucking, like, some of the smartest developers, I swear. They go absolutely ape shit trying to make games look and feel good. It used to be, I've said this before, it used to be my dream to work at Valve, and then I gave up. And I was like, no, I'll be a streamer. So I wonder, I, they, may have, they may have elucidated this and I talked over it or something, but uh, makes me wonder if this was just a level that was supposed to happen in Half-Life 2 that they just cut from the game, you know? Poke the around. Oh, good. Supports a wide I remember this. Of shaders. Ah, yes. Oh. The light just popped into place. We wanted to transition from a bright, wide open space into a tighter, closed oh, look at this. showcase HDR's dynamic tone mapping. <laughs> <laughs> we also like to focus on contrasting elements. Oh, oh there settings, it is. This like is the base of the gun. Oh. Contrasting combined what are these called? Oh when god! Oh god! Settings, we try <laughs> to ground them by yeah, look at that. So it's like when you look at a bright light thing, it kind of like goes way for a second. Definitely not like a perfect simulation. But I, I definitely... I, the way that they explained it... They explained it for baby. Mm. Do I need to jam something in here? Puzzle here, since the player has been through combat oh. and exploration recently. I can only Close assume point. I have to jam something it's in there. It's not hard to create interesting goals. For the <laughs> and that's why these are so weirdly oriented when you pick them up. Village. That's kind of the fun. Action required by the player Fuck. to solve the challenge. Oh, and it janked it into it well. already. I did it, guys. I solved the one puzzle in the game. Oh shit! Head crabs! I didn't even realize. So that, really, I could've just, like, they're launching out head crabs like, every second. Really, we could've just waited, because they had, like, only three left. Oh shit, now a gunship is here. Wonderful. I need to hop out this window? Are they gonna blow up the door? Oh shit! Spider combine. Ah! Oh, I don't have any alt fires. Shit. Let me get out my SMG for that alt fire. Nice. Just stood there. I do- this is a cool level. This would have been- this would have fit right into Half-Life 2. So are they just gonna- where are they? Oh god. Okay, they've got the high ground. Gotta respect that. Maybe up here? Ooh. This marks the end of the Lost Coast tour. Aww. This has been an experiment on our part to see if our community would find it interesting to learn more about our development process. <laughs> As always, we're interested in your feedback. I'm gonna be I a gentleman be and wait. Gay Ben, G A B E N, <gasps> he said it. at ValveSoftware.com. He said it. If people like this, oh we we'll keep producing this kind of content for all of our games going forward. Thanks for listening. Also, uh, yes, Valve, we would love it if you would keep doing uh, developers' commentary on your games that you keep making and, and releasing. You sure do like to make and release games, Valve. Such a shame that you didn't do developers' commentary on all these games that you released. Wow, this is, uh... That was, that was good. Good tactics. Good fighting. Hit me! Oh. It did hit me. Yeah, the HEV suit's a son of a bitch! Also, that's nice. So, the plank that fell down from here, at the very, very beginning of the demo, uh, was sort of leading your eye, so to speak. And that's it! I did it! Okay, Ben. So we're gonna, of course, no-clip all over the goddamn place. And go absolutely ham. Oh, look at that. The perspective's fucked. There's some guys still up on the roof here. There's another gunship that I guess I didn't even... It's like a dropship. Oh, they threw a grenade. Oh, hold on. 
does this guy, what does this guy do now? Oh, huh? Wait, what just killed me? What the fuck? Yo, what the hell? I got fucked up by the fisherman. Okay, well this is a perfect opportunity to go into developer console. We gotta, we gotta just ruin this church. First and foremost. We gotta just absolutely ruin all of Valve's hard work. And make it look like absolute trash. <laughs> oh shit, they're about to blow up that door. Okay, I gotta give myself- oh, here we go. SK, PLR, num, shotgun, pellets. And then can I just do like 9999 here? Oh god, oh god! The Omega shotgun. <laughs> These guys are gonna get yeeted. <laughs> SV gravity, that's good. Nice. Space jump, we're in zen mode now. From Half-Life 1. Oh look, is that some... Is that some Z fighting I see? Maybe. Alright, show me the money. Show me the money. It, the game lags every time I shoot with this. Because I'm shooting ostensibly a thousand... Or like 10,000 shotgun bullets. I think only explosives can harm this thing, unfortunately. The sheer amount of shit it creates, though. That's incredible. Um, okay, host time scale. Nine, nine, <laughs> no, uh, let's not go too crazy. Ten. Oh my- OW! Oh! It's like a bee! It's just buzzing around. Let's see if the fisherman will instantly kill me again. Oh my god, he's dodging the bullets. This is like the Matrix. He's literally untouchable. Oh my god. Ah! Oh god, he's getting faster. Oh god. Oh no. I can already tell this is a bad idea. Yep. Yep. Oh, his legs disappeared. All right. All right. Nope. Nope. Ah! Ah! Look at him go. Look at him go. It's like he's tap dancing. Okay. Uh, can I... Oh, I, I'm stuck. That's good. Okay. Everybody relax. Fair fight. Completely fair. I like that it, it- I guess it's scripted that it bumps into the cliff like that. We've all had a lot of fun, but now it's time to talk to the fisherman. Oh, he won't even say anything. Dumb fuck. Alright, can we get like, the Thanos beatbox here? Oh no, oh no no. Auto disconnect in 20 seconds. I love that it gives you like a little whoop whoop whoop, a little countdown. But it refuses to ever actually go down. You know? You know what I'm talking about with the Thanos beatboxing? I wonder if these ladders are functional or not. They're like tiny. <laughs> Oh shit, no, they don't even have collision. <laughs> it's like endless wasteland. I assume this is a, a skybox projection, though. Yeah. But now, this is how you actually walk around on this land. And then if I spawn- hold on, can I spawn like a giant Barney here? Yes! The Barney button returns! The glorious return. Now we're gonna make this countryside just absolutely lousy with Barneys. In fact, a group of Barneys is a lousy. Just like a, a group of Rich Evans is called an embarrassment of riches. These guys are gonna be, like, in the world. I don't even know what this part of the, like... I don't even know what that part of it is. Oh god, I can put them in the ocean, too. Yes! Yes! Oh my fucking god. What have I created? Oh, Jesus. Well, oh, about, about that, that beer! beer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes! Oh god. Oh, the game's trying. The game's lagging. Nice! <laughs> I love the ones that are half submerged in water. That is for some reason particularly funny. Also, they kind of do the wave when they spawn in on the edge of the screen. You see that? It's pretty fun. It's trying real hard. Oh god, yep, these are the ones that I said were just gonna be on the level. Because it's like polygons that are underneath the actual level. <laughs> this is like the end of Evangelion! <laughs> <laughs> this really is modern art. 
Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at his twisty neck. <laughs> There's like peeking over the like countryside. This guy's like, what the fuck did you do? Can I get his harpoon back? No. That's weird, he dropped his harpoon, but now he's holding it again. This game sucks. Anyone else think this game sucks? But this is a good- this is a cool level. I mean, it went before I, like, ruined it. There was cool stuff, it was, like, pretty basic. There's the original harpoon, I was looking for it. This is the original harpoon. This game fucking sucks! How is he holding his harpoon if I get- if it's right here, Gabe Newell? I'm gonna email Gabe Newell and let him know what I fucking think, right now. Because how? Explain it! Robin Walker, rejoin the Valve company and explain this shit. This guy looks like he fell like Peter Griffin. Like just the droning in the background with the Barneys everywhere. It really... it... it... it it's a mood. They reused this like clothing. Also, it's so crusty up close. From a distance, it looks great. From a distance, that shit looks real. But uh, from up close, you're like, oh. Let's turn on... let's turn off Matt Fulbright. Whoa. I've been doing some shit. Oh, and some of the objects are still in Matt Fulbright mode. That's a thing. The objects will stay in Matt Fulbright mode until you touch them and move them. And then they pop back into normal. And it's just sometimes, it's just like a glitch that happens. SV max velocity. Oh, look at that, just constant warning user command buffer overflow. Just streaming in. That's good. Oh god. Uh, the game is slowly dying. I think I need to reload. Let's just do new game. <coughs> yeah, it's a plank of wood. Oh, is the gravity still half? I think... I think the gravity's still half, and so the wood fell slower. So I could actually see what it was. That's, uh... Amazing, actually. We could just do SV gravity like fucking nothing. SV... Gravity... Uh, let's do like two. Out of, like, the original 600. Oh no. Oh no! I moved forward slightly and now I, I'm on an upward incline. I can't actually jump. I need to hit a slope and then jump. What a nightmare. Yeah! <laughs> He's like, you're that fishman guy- oh my god. He's a birdman. This is a- this is a speedrun strat right here. Skip directly to the gay Ben. Oh, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna go sailing right past it. Oh god, we're soaring! Oh god, wait, where'd the level go? What?! I'm in hell! Oh... I understand. It's loaded the, this, like, interior bit. So everything else is just gone. And- and my one jump is just- I can't stop! I can't go down. My one jump is just carrying me away. This is like- this is horrible. When does this end? I think I'm about to start coming down. We gotta land on the gay bend section. <laughs> oh! Huh, huh, what's that? Huh. Gay bend, there it is. This marks the yes! end of the Lost Coast tour. This has been an experiment on our part to see if our community would find it interesting to learn more about our development. It's just process. broken now. Oh As god. Always, we're interested oh god, in I feedback. broke it. I can be reached at gayben 